Good morning, I'm Seth Erickson. Thanks for joining us for this news update. We begin with a follow-up report in the aftermath of the Thanksgiving night shooting at the River Chase Galleria in Hoover. Authorities have arrested a suspect who they say wounded another man during an altercation. Aaron Martez Brown of Bessemer was captured in, a Georgia, uh, in Georgia at a relative's home south of Atlanta. The Alabama Law Enforcement Agency tells us that Brown has been charged with attempted murder after shooting 18-year-old Brian Xavier Wilson. Meanwhile, protesters say they will continue demonstrations over the police killing of another man who was initially believed to be the shooter. A 12-year-old girl was also wounded by gunfire that night, but is expected to recover. An Alabama attorney and his son are accused of defrauding investors and a bank out of millions of dollars. An indictment was handed down today against Donald V. Watkins Sr. and his son Donald V. Watkins Jr. The indictment alleges that from 2007 until 2014, the pair induced investors to pay millions into an account that was supposed to grow two companies that they were associated with. According to the indictment, the money was instead used for alimony, clothing, and taxes. Watkins Sr. released a statement saying the charges are bogus and he's confident he and his son will be found innocent. City workers here in Tuscaloosa have finished decorating a 50-foot cedar tree in front of the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. The tree, donated by Ruth Pruitt of Tuscaloosa County, will be lit Monday night just before the 43rd annual West Alabama Christmas Parade in downtown Tuscaloosa. The parade is the largest holiday parade in the state. Anywhere from 10,000 to 15,000 people are expected in the city Monday night, so the Tuscaloosa Park and Recreation Authority encourages everyone to arrive early. The Christmas tree will be lit at 5.30 p.m. Several area school choirs will perform in front of the tree. And the SEC championship game was a dandy. Alabama and Georgia met at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta, the same field where the national championship was won last year by the Crimson Tide. Georgia played Alabama tough in the first half and led by as many as 17 points. After Tua Tungavailoa went down with an ankle injury, backup quarterback Jalen Hurts stepped in. And did he ever step in? The junior quarterback threw for one touchdown and ran for the game-winning touchdown with under two minutes left in the game. Alabama came away with a 35-28 win, knocking Georgia out of the 14 championship playoffs. The Crimson Tide now heads to Miami on December 29th to take on the Oklahoma Sooners. That's the news for now and for this semester. I'm Seth Erickson. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.